Guys, I hope y'all are having another good day. Thank you so much for checking out the channel. I hope y'all had a good work week. I hope y'all had a good Memorial Day weekend. I hope everybody was safe. No one got hurt, etc., etc. Thank you for coming back to the channel. So, today's video, I'm filming it inside right now because it's really hot outside. But I'm still going to make a video for you guys because I appreciate you. All right. Uh, today's video is going to be really good. A extremely needed video for the interior of my truck and it's going to be speakers okay uh, I went ahead and ordered some new speakers for the interior of the truck as you guys know if you get a let's we're just gonna say if you get a late third gen Cummins uh, your interior usually is gonna come with uh, the infinity sound system okay now back in 2008 this system was fine you know it, it does have a factory amp you know it sounds okay but fast forward 10 11 years speakers are blown the material is cracked faded uh it, it doesn't sound like what it needs to sound like and uh you know sound systems is one of those things that kind of got me like got my foot in the door when it came to the whole vehicles cars trucks and stuff when i was a teenager you know uh tw 10 12 years old sound systems was kind of like my entry into what i'm doing now so, you know, it kind of has a little sentimental value to me when it comes to doing sound systems and stuff. In high school, you guys know how it is. When you're in high school, you want the loudest speakers for the cheapest price. It makes your whole car rattle, the license plate, the hood, the roof. You know how it is. Unfortunately, not unfortunately. Now, you know, 26, about to be 27. Um, uh, I, don't, I don't look for that no more. I do plan on getting subs for the truck. Uh, that's going to be in work for this summer. I um, actually found a company that makes a custom box. I think you guys are going to like this. They make a custom subwoofer box specifically for mega cab rams. Okay. Uh, so we'll be able to get that into the truck. I'm hoping summer. I don't really have a time on it right now, but uh, I'm looking forward to it. But for now, we're going to go ahead and update the interior speakers. Um, if you have the Infinity sound system factory from the truck you're gonna have six speakers total two on the dash two on each or one on each door okay so you got six total i'm gonna show y'all what we're working with okay so i went ahead and went with a brand that i trust okay now i know you you can you can say what brand you should have went with but i'm a firm believer in jbl not factory jbl because factory speakers are not the same as aftermarket speakers so factory bows Factory JBL, Factory JL Audio, or not JL, but like Infinity is not the same as your aftermarket performance series, okay? Uh, this stuff right here, this is like, this is not no Walmart speakers. You don't go to Walmart and get stuff like this. This is high quality speakers. So from the bottom, we got the JBL 9603, 210 watts max power. And if you're curious, or you're curious what determines a good speaker, let me know, I can comment down below and tell you because I don't want to drag this video out. These are all coaxial speakers. Once again, if you want to know what that is, well, actually, I'll tell you. So, you got two types of speakers coaxial and components. Coaxial speakers are going to have a tweeter combined with usually what is a mid or high speaker. Okay, so you got both two and one. Usually, they call it a two pass, I think, or a two channel or a four channel speaker. Um, you have two channels, sorry, you have the tweeter combined with the woofer is what they would call it um components you're gonna have the woofer separate from the, the tweeters and you can position the tweeters in the car the way you want them to these are kind of these are usually for the dude that's just trying to do the one for one swap speaker like i'm trying to do right now i did think about doing components but maybe down the road i'll switch it up and do components but it can get it can get really expensive uh and i'm i'm usually a jl audio or a roxford fosgate dude or jbl but out of all three of those brands, JBL definitely gives you the most bang for the buck. And that's where I'm at right now. Um, I don't need a competition sounding truck. I just want a good sounding truck. I listen to a wide range of music from country, rap, R&B, hip hop. Uh, I listen to pretty much a, a, a very big spectrum. So uh, this definitely. Next speaker we got is going to be a JBL GT75. Uh, this is 105 watt max power. And this is a 6x9. Uh, five and a quarter, two five and a quarters, two six by nines, two three and a half inch speakers. So, if you, and there's no videos really talking about how to change speakers on this style RAM, a third gen RAM, uh, which is really shocking. There's only a couple. This one is going to be your Club 3020, 
three and a half inch coaxial car speakers. Uh, not sure on the wattage for these. Um, I'm sure it's somewhere, but whatever. It's not really a big deal. I know these are going to sound good. I can feel the weight. These speakers, these right here, are they're heavy little suckers. And when we get outside, I'm trying to talk inside because it's cool in here and it's hot as crap outside. These speakers, this is going to be a super simple job on the truck because Dodge made it very easy to access all this stuff on the vehicle. Oh, also, and I highly, rec I highly recommend getting these if you have stock speakers. Get yourself some aftermarket, some Metra. This is the uh, part number. Metra 72, well you see it right there. Get you some of those, uh, these are adapters, okay? So what that means is instead of having to ghetto wire the speakers, the new speakers, into your, you can plug right into your factory harness. Uh, you'll see when we get out there what I'm talking about. It'll make all the sense if, you, if you're not tracking on what I'm saying. We're gonna go outside and get tools set up. We're gonna take the door panel off. I'm gonna show you how to take off the door panel, show you the old speaker, and then we're gonna go ahead and continue this, okay? Taking off the door panel. We're right here on the driver door panel. Super simple job, okay? So, first thing you wanna do is go ahead and pop this off. In order to do that, it's as simple as this. Actually, let's do it from the back or from the front. You get in here and you just pry it just like that okay now you got little clips in here so make sure you don't pry it like directly up or you can break them they're very brittle once you get this bad man pajama out okay and this is a cheap little chinese one i bought so i don't really care about it once you get this off go ahead and unplug it all right once you unplug that you got a phillips screw back here in here you can't see it but on the door handle door handle actually yeah work camera camera get it come on camera the camera's working, you guys. Right there, you can see, is a 10 millimeter socket. Okay, that's gonna be to take this handle off because you have to take the handle off. Once you take those, those two out right there, come down here, you're gonna also have another Phillips or whatever type of screw and, an, and another one. Once you take those off, all you gotta do is lift the door panel, lift the door panel straight up, clear this, and then, oh, sorry, one, and one more, sorry. Forgot about the up here. So take that one out too. Lift up, clear the little lock thingy, and it's off. So now you're about to see me do it. All right, you guys, you saw how quick I took that off. That took me less than 60 seconds. If it's your first time, it might take you two minutes, maybe a minute and a half. I've taken these door panels off probably about five times already for various reasons. Uh, and this is it. This is so easy. One thing I did want to do really is I wanted to get some lining, some dynamat, and I want dynamat. I'm probably still going to do it. I want to dynamat the doors and the whole carpet. I'm going to take the seats out, the carpet, everything, and dynamat the entire interior. Uh, once I get to a point, which in all honesty, it could be now, but it's not. Once I get to a point where I'm comfortable with the outside and the engine, to where I'm satisfied for a little while, I want to focus on the inside and, and do some do some cool stuff on the inside of this truck, you know? Just because it, it it doesn't have to look all gray and neutral and, and weird, you know? You can make it look cool. So, now, what's next? Take the speaker off. How to take it off? Boom, 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 boom. Pulls out, disconnect, done, son. Like that, this speaker is out. This thing is shot. Look at that old school Infinity, Infinity logo. If the camera ever decided to focus, wow, it has a little bit of weight to it. Let's see what the inside looks like. I'm about to cut this open with one hand. I'm curious to see what that cone looks like. Oh. <laughs> wow. Wow. Hmm. Well, it did its job for the last 11 years, I guess. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys the pigtail I was talking about why you want to get this. Obviously, this is a factory harness connector made to connect into that. But in order to prevent you from having to splice these wires to make them look ghetto, we have adapter. All right, you guys, this is why you want to get the adapter, okay? So there's the stock end. You got the positive and the negative. Positive is white, negative is black. 
and it already comes pre-crimped. So all you do is slide it onto the new speaker, crimp it down. You probably don't have to crimp it. It'll probably, it'll probably hold itself. You can crimp it if you want to, but slide it on the new speaker connectors, install the speaker, put the door panel back on, done. This shouldn't take more than 10 minutes per door panel at a max. We're not going to let it take that long, though. Let's get these puppies opened up. All right, you guys. So we got the speaker installed. Very simple. I even reused the same screws, the original screws that came with it, but it looks good. Uh, one thing you always want to do is check your, always do a sound check before putting the panels back on. So we're going to go ahead and do that real quick. Do a little panel check or a sound check, mic check. We got the, as soon as my radio turns on and should be there any second. There we go. Oh, wait, no, she ain't ready. That chime is so annoying. Some of the headphones down a little bit. Yeah. I fuck L, ain't no way I'm gonna switch. Alright, I don't wanna get hit with copyright. Alright, so it works. And it's, look, it, I won't be able to tell you how it sounds until we, they're all installed and I'm in the truck. So, but from the sound of it, from this one speaker, it sounded pretty good. So, I'm going to, uh, Finish installing all the other ones and get back with y'all. All right, you guys, it is the next day. Um, so it's Friday today. Uh, I worked on the speakers until about 9.30 at night. Everything went smooth. Changing all of the door speakers took about, I'd say, 40 minutes putting in from start to finish, like taking the panel off, putting it back on, um, and putting the new speakers in it took about 40 minutes 45 minutes max uh was not an issue dashboard okay two things number one there is there's two there's three speakers up here if you have the infinity sound system in your third gen there's going to be three one here one there and the little itty bitty one in the middle the little one in the middle i believe is a two and a half inch speaker i did not even know that was there it's still there um it was getting late. It got really dark really quick, and I had horrible lighting. I was not able to show uh, me changing out the speakers on the dash. I apologize for it, but it's extremely simple. You just pop that front panel off, and the speakers are there. And then you get, I believe it's like an 8 millimeter socket, and take the screws off. Um, I highly recommend using the mini uh, quarter-inch drive uh, mini ratchet. It's going to make it a lot easier. Uh, so, yeah. So we got that done. I'm going to give you a quick little sample of how the speakers sound. I'm not trying to get hit with copyright, so it's going to be real brief, but I'll play. I got one country song, Jason Aldean, and then I got one. I'll play one little hip-hop song, so that way you can kind of get, hopefully the mics can pick it up good enough to where you know what it's, uh, you know, how it sounds, okay? So this is how it sounds with, uh, with let's, we're going to call this country. She's rocking them holy jeans. Baby, what you got going on Saturday? You know, words got it. It's gonna be a party. Out of town about half a mile. Alright, so that's the country. And then we'll play some Bruno Mars and some Cardi B. That's it. Um, it sounds amazing, you guys. It really sounds dope. I could not be more than happy with the sound system setup I have. Um, I will have links down below for Amazon links if you are interested in purchasing it, purchasing the same speakers for your third gen Cummins uh, that I run. Okay, early third gens. Do your research. I'm not a hundred percent so. Um, bleh. I'm not 100% sure that these are going to be the exact same size. I would like to say yes, uh, but you never know. They might switch it up between late and early model third gens. Um, also, yeah, it's gonna, I'll have the links down below. It sounds really good, really crisp. Uh, I can turn it up. Granted, there is a break-in period, but on the speakers, when you, when you get new speakers, you want to break them in before you start blasting them. Uh, I'm not running any bass in them right now. This is just pure vocals and sounds. Plus, that's kind of how I like my door speakers. We got some. We got something that's gonna give us some bass. Um, so if you know, I'm, I'm, if you catch what I'm throwing. Uh, but anyways, yes. 
uh, it sounds really good. JBL is a very good and also a very cost effective brand for speakers. I know they make really good headphones, really good Bluetooth, uh, the little portable speakers. Uh, they make really good surround sound systems in your house. Uh, and they continue it and they make very good audio, car audio stuff. Do not sleep on JBL. Um, you know, I know JL Audio, Rocks for Foskate. Uh, there's some other brands I can't think of off the top of my head because I haven't, I haven't been keeping up with the car, the, the car audio game in such a long time. Uh, but definitely, there's a, J, don't, don't, don't sleep, sleep on them. Uh, this is kind of like their entry slash mid level quality speakers. They do have a, a rookie entry level. You know, it's probably a little bit above Walmart brand kickers and stuff. Uh, I didn't want to settle for that because I've had stuff like that in the past, and it, and it, it goes to crap in six months. Uh, this is like a mid-grade. Uh, all around, I was looking at 140-ish, 150-ish on the speaker system or the speaker setup, uh, plus 20 bucks for the connectors. So it definitely came out really good. You're on the camera. I'm, I'm filming my outro because I couldn't do it last night because I didn't have wire cutters. Oh. It's done though. It sounds real Yeah, you guys. All right. So, uh, it's done. Uh, yeah, it, it sounds good. I like it. I like it a lot. Um, definitely looking forward to putting some subs in the truck now that we got some speakers that sound good. Uh, if you guys got any questions on it, please comment down below. I really appreciate it. I appreciate all of you checking out the channel. Uh, thank you so much. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about the video. Let me know what you think about, you know, just anything. <laughs> so I really appreciate it. Like I said, like, comment, and subscribe. And until tomorrow or the next time I see you guys, take it easy, be safe, and peace out.